Hey guys, in this video we are exploring a more advanced feature, kind of a fun feature, mainly to demonstrate the capabilities of Video Ninja more than anything. So what we'll be doing is we'll be using our phone, an Android phone in this case, to stream sensor data, gyroscopic, compass information, things like that, from our phone, along with the video, to our computer. Then we'll be manipulating the video data based on the sensor data using the Video Ninja iframe API. So this hopefully demonstrates some of the powerful functionalities that you can do. Uh, we'll, the flag we'll be using is sensor in this case. There's so many different flags and features out there. I don't think most people have an idea of even a fraction of them. So uh, I put together a little demo uh, here that I'll show you in just a second that tries to demonstrate what I'm talking about to give you some ideas of what's possible maybe get you started on your own project. Okay, so to, to use the sensor flag, we have to just add it to a push link uh, and then join with our Android phone. So I have here a, a QR code link. I created the push link, just video.ninja slash beta, push Steve test one, two, three, any stream ID. And then we added sensor. And I'll just use my phone to join with the QR code. Uh, share my camera. Start. So now I'm on the stream. I'll copy this link. Go over here and paste it in. Change push to view. And we'll get rid of the view of the sensor flag. Click. Cool. Here we go. So now I'm loaded up. And there's a video playing down here. But as you see, if I just rotate the phone, I use the sensor data to position uh, the camera. Go up. Go down. Right. Um, you know, it's not claiming it's perfect. Um, but yeah, um, let me put this over here. Okay, so that, that was uh, kind of cool, I think. We can kind of look at what we're doing here. We, we are getting sensor data. And so at the bottom, we see all the sensor data that's coming in orientation information, gyroscopic information, accelerometer data, uh, linear acceleration, all this data, you can Google what that means online, but it's being made accessible uh, via the, I, a, uh, the iframe API. So if we look here, we see that Video Ninja is actually contained within an iframe. So this is Video Ninja within an iframe, and we're able to pull the sensor data out from the iframe using the iframe API. We can get other information. We can get information about when the video starts. So we can mute it. We can stop the video. We can reload. We can insert data. We can insert custom CSS. It's very flexible. We can even publish video into it. Uh, so it's kind of like a video element if you're familiar with HTML, but on steroids, you can do so much more with it, but yet you can still treat it like a video element. And that's also reflected in the fact that we're able to access the video data and draw it to a canvas. This canvas is outside of the iframe, which implies we're extracting the video data. We're able to then treat the video data like a normal video for, uh, tag, a video element outside of the iframe and even manipulate the data, capturing it, drawing it to a canvas, which is really rather kind of cool. Um, how we're able to do this, we can check out source code. Uh, so at the bottom here, we have our iframe listener. This listens to the iframe and gives us information about sensor data information, streams that connect, sensor data, all the gyroscopic information, linear acceleration gyroscopic, it's captured and fed um, into the status stream for us to access. 
uh, we're also able to um, where we we're able to query the iframe and we're able to access its contents like it's a child via the content window uh, option of JavaScript. Now, when we're doing this, um, the sensor data we get has an ID attached to it. And then we can query in Video Ninja, the iframe of Video Ninja, we can query for all videos or for the particular video that has the ID that's connected to our sensor. So video source with the ID that our sensor data has. And it returns the video within that Video Ninja iframe. And then we can manipulate it. So in this case, I'm now going to a script that will draw that video data. And using the orientation information to position the video as we draw it to a canvas. Now, because uh, the video data is uh, not in sync with the motion data, although it has timestamps uh, tied to them, uh, the video comes in a little bit delayed versus the sensor data. And so we have a, a, an option here that I added in this demo that lets us delay the sensor data. And so I find that the sensor data, I need to del delay by about 100 milliseconds for it to be in sync with the video. And then depending on your camera, you can change the field of view, the, the field of angle. And I, in my case, I'm using a Pixel 4. So I have a horizontal and vertical focal length with a uh, mentioned field of view here. And in the demo, you can uh, adjust these to correspond to your camera. Um, I'm only using a small amount of the sensor data. And as a result, it's not positioned exactly 100% accurate. And another thing is um, the compass information works with the phone flat. If you make the phone perpendicular, straight up and down, you don't get compass information that's accurate. The compass information is kind of perpendicular to the phone being flat. Um, so if you use the phone on a slight angle, it, it tends to work better and be more accurate than up and down. I guess that's going to depend on your phone. Uh, but if I simply rotate the phone, I'm using the rotation information here. I can also spin the phone, not rotate it to get um, the effect. Uh, I think the rotation spread a little better in this demo. So I can rotate it and demonstrate that the window is sliding as I rotate the phone left and right. Also works up and down. Okay. Uh, and on the sync delay, I, I put it here, about 100 milliseconds compensates for the information so it updates accurately. Uh, the math I'm using for this is very crude and probably wrong. I could probably get it much more accurate with more sophisticated math. But for the point of the demo, uh, I think I think that I think that works. So in this demo to, to rehash, we streamed motion data from our phone insanely fast to a computer remotely. This could be MIDI data, it could be sensor data, it could be really any type of data that's um, accessible. Then we also streamed the video data and we used Video Ninja in an iframe. So we don't have to deploy our own Video Ninja instance to do this. We can just focus on a very simple iframe, embed Video Ninja and let Video Ninja do all the work. We can talk to it over the iframe API we can pull videos in and out of it using basic JavaScript. And if you do find yourself running into problems with uh, cross domain permissions or something like that, you can simply get your own domain name and point 
uh, your domain name at the stage uh, at the Video Ninja servers. An IP can be, be provided if you want to do that. And then you don't need to worry about any sort of cross site content issues there. You can also deploy the code if you do want. Uh, but f I think for most people, you can just embed Video Ninja as an iframe and get access to all these features and functions. Uh, so, yeah, very powerful. It turns all this into a very simple element that you can treat kind of like a video tag. It's an iframe that you can talk to, publish, control, mute, do much, much more than that even. And if you are into VR or if you want to do something kind of cool, maybe you have a 360 camera that you want to update positioning of that 360 camera, depending on where you point your phone. For example, uh, you know, I have a 360 camera here. Um, and I could use my phone as like a, a magic mouse. And wherever, wherever I point my phone, I could then control uh, the cropping of this 360 camera. That way, I don't have to worry about aligning the video at all. I just have to worry about um, kind of where it points. So it's like a kind of a neat way of having a gimbal. Just, just to give you an idea, so much more you can do out there, guys. Uh, I'm, I'd love to see what you come up with. And I hope, hope that demonstrates the power of Video Ninja to you all. Feedback, requests, bug reports, all very welcome. Hit me up on discord.video.ninja. Happy to support you guys. Bye. Thanks for watching.